creative munchkins and hello to all the creative children out there too. It's Sandy at Spiral Crafts and Workshops and I'm back with another free tutorial to make Cole the koala bear that you've just seen in the video clip. So if you like the video give us a thumbs up, thumbs up down below don't forget and if you want to see more videos free of charge to make stuff then subscribe to our YouTube channel or, or like our Facebook page so you can follow us. So what do we need to do? to do Carl the Koala Bear. We need some grey clay and we need a small amount of pink clay and a small amount of black clay. I've got them tucked under here because they're air drying and it just stops them going off so quickly. Then you'll need a surface to work on. You'll need some grease proof paper which is nice and non-stick for your clay and you'll need a cutting tool of some description. I've got the jumping clay cutting tool which looks like Pinocchio. Uh, but you can use the ordinary uh, brown ter <coughs> terracotta clay cutters because they work just as well. So let's get cracking. All the veterans out there, you should be ahead of me right now because I'm going to roll it into a ball. Surprise, surprise. And then I'm just going to go side to forward and backwards like this, or side to side, to make it into a nice big fat sausage. So the first thing I'm going to do is just clip the end off the sausage like that. It doesn't need to be a huge amount because that is going to be his ears later. Then turn your sausage like that and you want to go put a mark right on the inside and in, right in the middle and then just go off to one side and drop a proper cut right the way through the clay so you've got a big bit and a little bit. So put your little bit over there and take your big bit and we're going to roll this into a ball first and then we're going to turn it into a, a teardrop shape. Now when I roll things into a ball like this mine always come out slightly misshapen, so they're not quite proper spheres. So I'm just going to make that into a proper little ball like that. Then I'm going to pop it on my palm and put little finger to little finger and palm to palm edge there and just tilt your your hands so that you've got a v-shape like that so v-shape like that and then just roll backwards and forwards alternatively you can just pop him on the the surface a couple of fingers and just roll backwards and forwards like that until you get a nice teardrop shape like that okay then pop that over there grab your little piece and roll that back into a ball and back into a sausage because we want to do some more cutting. So from there we're going to cut it right in half so if that's about the halfway mark I'm going to go right the way through give it a rock to separate the clay put your one bit there and take your other bit and roll it into a ball like that make sure it's a proper nice round smooth shape and then again just pop it on the the surface and to a couple of fingers just once forwards and backwards to give it a slightly conical shape like that. I'm just going to smooth it down a bit. So you, you want a, a slightly triangular shape. Now this narrow end here and this narrow end here just pop the two together like that and that's your koala head and your koala body ready and waiting light down because it's most likely going to fall over if I don't. Take your other piece that you haven't done anything with yet, roll it out into a bit more of a sausage and you want to cut it roughly in half like that. You don't need to be too careful about that. Now you'll probably end up with a slightly bigger bit and a smaller bit. So your bigger bit, cut that in half. I'll do it that way just because just it's a, a different technique. And you cut your smaller half in smaller piece in half again. And what we've got are arms and legs. So take those are the two smaller pieces. I'm going to put those there. So take your, your two bigger pieces and roll them into a ball. Surprise, surprise. And then roll them into a sausage. Now this is going to be his bottom leg. So you sort of check it against, against the body for size, just a little bit longer. And then I'm going to do the same with the other one. I'm going to roll it into a ball and then let it look in the same. It does actually look, yeah, they look okay. So once you've got two legs and you're happy with them, 
you want to pick them up and you just want to one end you just want to squeeze it flat so you get that shape like that and then do the same with the the other one there and then if you sit your koala up on the surface put that out of the way because it'll probably get caught and then you put the leg where you want it to be there and then you can just fold this bit round the back and then looking on this you want the legs sticking out about the same like that and then just fold that round the back like that and press it on so now I've got a koala bear with, with two legs take my little pieces and we want to go through the same process again but these perhaps they will be thinner so one there perhaps slightly longer because they're arms oops that's a bit lumpy that one so perhaps slightly longer and being arms now I'm not really not happy with those they do look really different sizes so I'm going to cut a little bit off they do stick together they do like to stick together so I'm going to cut a little bit off and I'm just going to give them another another roll like this. to worry about that I can always squeeze that bit and then that's a little bit better so take your two arms and again you squeeze the end bit and you squeeze the end bit and then just under just under the neck area you want to start at the back roll his arms forward now this is very similar to the teddy bear that there is a video for to make the teddy bear but this is grey and it'll have something different on the chest it's a slightly different shape so there we go I've got two arms and two legs this point might be a good idea actually I'm just going to on each of the ends here just going to put three little lines so that they look like paws that's the general idea to look like Pause. There we go, so we've got little paws on our koala. So I'm going to take the grey, roll it into a bit of a ball, into a sausage. I'm not sure, I'm going to cut it in half like that. And these do really need to be as, as close to the same size. Oh, scratch that, there's an easy way. I'll show you a really quick and easy way of doing ears. I could have done them separately, but I'm going to do it this way. So roll it into a ball, get all the creases out of the, the clay. Right, so take your ball and very gently just cut it in half down the middle. And then just rock it so that they separate like that. Now don't, don't squidge these. So just press a little bit either side and then pinch a little bit at the bit that's already narrow. And then take Pinocchio's nose and just put a line in there. Sort of a, that's it. And then do the other one the same. So don't don't squidge it. Just press gently there, pinch there, and then just put a line because that's his that's his ear hole. His ear hole. That's it. Then you can take your. koala. Try not to squeeze the, the the rest of your koala when you put the ears on. And then put the other ear on there. Like that. See I've done it. I've said don't do it and I've done it so fortunately that's where his, his nose is going to be so that'll be sticking out anyway. So we've got our koala. Bring his arms round a little bit more. Put his head a bit straighter on his body because it's falling off the back. There we go. Right, so we need to add a few features to him now. I'm going to add a little heart shape on his on his tummy. So take your pink, roll it into a ball. Like that. Don't roll it into a sausage this time. Um, you just want to roll it into a sort of an oval shape, so a very, very off-shaped circle. Take the flat part of your, your tool, or you can just use your fingers and press. 
and just press that to nice big ideally you want it oval shape but I don't think it matters so I'm just going to peel it off the surface like that now is that as big as I want it? No, I want it bigger so I'm going to stretch very gently just stretch it out a little into an oval shape like that then we're going to hold it up the front of his eye, that's better and I think what I might do is just put a little bit of a almost like a heart shape there we go at the top of it and then I'm going to put that on the front of his really big round tummy look at that blimey it's cute already isn't it now it's got its little tummy on it right then we need to give it a face and they always come alive when you give them a face they're always beautiful so this is way too much black I'll only only need a tiny bit of this roll it into a sausage and take a small amount off for his nose so just have a look see whether that's the right size nose for for his face now once you've got it just roll it slightly and then press the top so what you're after is triangular shape like that and you want the long the pointy bit pointing down and the long bit across that way so I'm just going to bob that right in the middle of his face look at that oh right oh cute nose there and then I'm going to take another tiny bit of clay off put the black back put the black back like that now this tiny bit is going to get even tinier so I'm actually going to cut that in half. Now this is, it does help if, if these two, because these are going to be his eyes, do you see these are, are different sizes? You can, you can actually do the eyes how you want, I just prefer to get them pretty even. It's still not quite there, so bear with me. Bear with me, koala bear. Sorry. I'll leave in a bit. Right, so those are pretty much the same size. And I'm going to put him an eye there. And pick that one up. And put the other one there. That's it. Then with the tall edge, I'm just going to put a little, if you can see, just a little line. Little line there underneath his nose. And then I'm going to put him a little smile in. Using my little finger now because it's nice and curved. And there we go. We've got a smiling little baby koala bear called Carl. Ready to go. Now, if you don't know what to do with your, your models once you've done them, if you check out down below, there's a link to a, 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 my Etsy page. And there's a set of six tutorials that show you how to make these into key rings, into mobiles and into fridge magnets. What I would suggest is you be careful with this one if you make them into a key ring and make sure these paws don't stick out too much and the ears are a bit smaller because they will get, get torn off when just in general wear and tear when you're out and about. So there you go, nice big fat cute koala bear. Have fun making one. Bye!